have another video for you. It's a redstone video, and uh, it's a it's a melon slash pumpkin farm. It works off budding pistons and is fully automatic. You even get your little hopper to do do your magical collecting for you. Yeah, just like you saw in the intro. I mean, it's a uh, more simple redstone, really. What else can you expect from us? Okay, so as we always try to do, we're going to go through what we, you need. So two redstone blocks. Uh, 17 redstone up to 17. I mean you could technically have like less or more But this is by like how long the um, the what do they call it the redstone charge uh, signal signal that's the one. Also, I will uh, show you how to tile it so you can have it right next to it Yeah, we will but I mean you know you, you this is more than enough melon Okay, so 13 pistons four redstone torches 23 powered rails one redstone comparator hopper minecart two hoppers three rails Let's go. And as you can see, this is oh, just pissed. regular pistons, 13 pistons. Uh, you also need another piston, which is a sticky one. Oh yeah, so. just for one sticky piston. We actually haven't got that on here. Derp, my bad. I have it in my hand, I think, somewhere. I don't know. Okay, okay, so first of all, I'm farmland. So I believe this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I think it is. Yep, yeah, I'm just going to D&D mode, so I just try getting a call. I was like, dude, do do it while I'm recording. The people yeah, man. In and place your pistons. Okay. I haven't got pistons in my inventory. I have pistons, this. okay. Um, so where do you want it? Good sir. Uh, straight along this line right back here. Okay, and we can do all of these along, can't we? Yep. Oops, now whoa, this works whoa, whoa, whoa. on a this works on a pretty good rebudding system. Uh, you only need one piston to rebud it at the start, Whoop. and I'll show you that in a second. Yep. Oh, there you are. So then you're going to want to come build three blocks behind, remove two, and then place another piston back here. Yep. Then just diagonal pistons. to the two pistons, placing a to um a torch here, and then placing a row of blocks here with red some dust on top. Yep. Using my OCD then, texture pack there for the redstone. Yep. Good mix. Nice, sir. And, Good mix. nice and simple. Right, uh, putting a sticky piston here. Okay. That's so that's sticky. the sticky. Yep. The, only with the block sticky. on top, and underneath that, put another block with a red some torch on top of that, and then out of this on block, side, yep. it's gonna get pushed here. Have a redstone repeater signal go into a block with, with no, no ticks torch. on the repeater. Uh, one tick. Oh, one right. tick, okay. And then do this block on top of this, which will transfer the signal through to this. And there we go. As you can see, that's bud powering this. So when you do that, it will magically move it and then reset. Actually, no, not no ticks on this. This is one tick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. There you go. And then any melons that grow here. Will then be automatically harvested. So let me just test it out with the melon. melon. Uh, so obviously we place two farmland because all these blocks over here need to be hoed and place seeds. And as yeah, you can see, you, you can't really anywhere. see it, but he is placing it. But yeah, it's just very, it's, it's instant. You know, it's it's there, it's ready. So That's this works cool. with melons or pumpkin seeds. Gotta mm -hmm. say. And let me just get my hoe. Oh, oh, I wanna do the hoe. Oh. All right, you do the hoe. I'll do the seed placing. Yeah, you know, I feel I'm gonna throw my redstone block out for this. I got my own one. I got my own one, bro. It's the hoeing 2000. And that last one. There we go. <laughs> Gotta cool. be quick, see, because yeah. Uh, well, basically. S simple redstone, really. Keep it simple yeah. and quick right. and easy. So um, now time for the collection system, Jaden. Okay. Uh, you can bow meal these to make them big stems. Yeah. I wanna be a big boy. Yeah, we can't okay. really force the speed of these apart from the bone mill, so we kind of have. Ah, uh, you more put eight, you can. Uh, random tick speed. Ah, oh, he knows. Okay, so underneath this, uh, you place uh, one block beneath. You place a row of blocks. Yeah, now this is where our power rail is going to be, and this is how we're going to pick up the actual melon um, from after it uh, comes off the actual block. Oh. So. So oh. to power these, uh, what we do is just place two resin blocks there. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to do that, but then come on this side you and place can a block. You can use torches, up. but resin blocks are just simple. Uh, you don't have to make all these powered rails, you can just have these powered rails, and then the rest normal rails, but... Uh, um, power rail, for fun. So first place it line by line, so place a line, here. And then you're gonna have then, the uh, other ones the second, at right? the end here. Yeah, so the curly normal. ones, <laughs> the ones that are able to kill. Yeah. Uh, and then come out by a block, I believe, or two, and then come up with a hopper. Uh, coming out the back here. Ah. Make sure it's pointing this way so you can put your chest. Okay. Let me get my chest. Gotcha. Ding! You can place it like that, you can just have it like that, or you can place it like that also. Sure. I mean, obviously that's where the melon's going to go, and um, the minecart is going to hopefully um, come to us with this. Wait. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it like that, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then what I'm going to do, 
Uh, all of these are power rails except for this one. I'm going to have to disconnect the, the power coming from the power rails that make it go fast. So then on this side, over here, uh, let's come around. block next to this um, hopper. Yep. Come down a block with a comparator, which will take an output if there's items traveling through it. And then that will go into a torch, uh, which is right on top of the block that the comparator is going into. Oh, two blocks like you, this. You hurt my head so much, man. Two blocks like this. Okay. And yeah. two blocks. Yeah, two blocks like that. And then place resin on top of that. And then, when the minecart stops here, if there's items in it, so if there's items passing through this hopper, this um, comparator will turn this power drill off. So okay. it will stop in its tracks. Literally, get it? Little pun. Yeah, yeah. Stop in its tracks, uh, offload its items, and when and all the off items again. are offloaded, it will go and see if there's any more items. Do, do we mess with a comparator at all? Do we move it a tick or whatever? No, no that's see, fine. They're not ticks, that's subtract, add or subtract load. Yeah, so it then you grab ABCD. your. Sadly, there's no plus or minus. <laughs> Sad there is no plus or minus anyway. Oh, there was on my old texture pack, I think. Oh, I think Sortex had one. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, this is your hopper that goes back and forth to collect the items. And yes, they do collect items through the block. Yeah, that's what was pretty awesome, actually. So I was I'm like, gonna... how does it do that? They're magical. I'll check an item in here. So as you can see, it's going to stop, offload it, yeah. and then... I'll do it as well. Do. So we'll see how I'll throw, um, let's say, this in. Joseph, tell me what item I'm about to throw. Go check in my chest. Go look in my chest. What chest? Uh, the, the chest chest, you know. No, the actual chest. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to show that, I'll, you know... I'll face not, my back not, then. That this does actually happen, yeah. Okay, so just picked it up. It's going in, up, unload Ooh, it. Oh, rest and torch. There you go. See, so it does work pretty to much. To show well. you that it does actually stop and not just... Because, I mean, you can't really see a stop in the minecart when, um, when it... You know, when it only is transferring one item. So I'm going to throw a yeah. bunch of items along here. And then, as you can see, when it picks up all these, it actually stops, yep. offloads all its items, and then goes. And there you go, guys. Fairly simple. Um, obviously, yeah, the stems aren't actually fully built yet, so you can't see the melons um, actually happening. You know, we need but some it, bone meal, and even then, we still have to wait for them to yep. uh, place. But you saw in the intro of how it works. But if there you know. was melons, yeah. Pumpkins, I mean, it works absolutely fine. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. It's fa Oh, actually, no, wait, the, the uh, tiling thing, uh, whatever you said you're going to do, uh, shown how you want to make it go on more. Oh, yes, yes, yes. If you want it to go more, on more, just, yeah. like, place place another few pistons. Yeah, if you so want to go on for, like, many. Ever, technically. Okay, and then what you do with this, you come out the back. Let me just grab some redstone. redstone. Uh, you will just need redstone and repeaters for this. So you put this redstone signal into a block, which will transmit a signal out over here into and then this redstone line goes into another block which then will come up a block but as you can see this is um kind of powering itself yeah. so the so you got to block that off and then bud powering uh i don't know if we've ever done a video on bud powering we have not uh, quick little theory here uh bud powering can be as you can see this block right here if this block is powered let's just um show the viewers this uh block like parallel to the piston is powered so by placing a piss uh, block next to this piston it'll realize that it's updated and uh, basically essentially you can just have a floating piston that's on ah um, there you go this, this is how this farm works and it also works if it's one block above the piston yeah so um can, shall i quickly extend this out just to show it actually um uh, yeah so then it comes down to there and then it extends out yeah, then you can put redstone on that, and then it keeps going. That's it. I mean, you could use a like repeater on its own, but then you'd kind of miss out the block where the repeater is, of course. So, you know, if you don't want that to happen, then this is the way to do it. Yeah. So, there you go. We covered kind of like two simple redstones there, all in one video. Yeah, that's and pretty good. cool. Awesome. Anyway, guys, that is it. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. We also got our command block video. Um, actually, I'm going to put that out first, the command block one, or the names. So, if you want to know how to do the names, then, yeah, be sure to check that out. And also, if you want to know about our step meter, you can see all my steps right there. Or, well, actually, it's more like a... It centimeter, step, yeah. walk one centimeter. Yeah. Uh, you can check that out soon, and we'll do a video on that. Anyway, thank you, and goodbye. Bye!